Hello to all of you, I hope you are all well and doing okay. Today is a special day, and we are going to dive into this short lesson. This lesson is about finding the X and Y components of projectiles. Firstly, remember that projectiles are parabolic motions. While the object is moving along its trajectory, there is a vertical and a horizontal motion. There are three important points to remember, one, the object leaves the ground with a certain velocity. This is the velocity of the object, and it is different from the velocities of the X and Y components. 2. The object leaves the ground at an angle. Remember we consider the ground to be flat or level. 3. The X and Y components are independent of each other, but share the same time at any given position. Now, if we should draw a line here, it is equal to the X component, or horizontal velocity. If we should draw another line here, it is equal to the Y component, or vertical velocity. Now you can see the formation of the right angle triangles. Let us expand this triangle so we can examine it and find the X and Y components. Look at the triangle carefully. Y is the opposite side to the angle. Y is the same as the vertical initial velocity. Now, remember that the sign the angle equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Therefore, the vertical initial velocity, or the y component equals to the sine of the angle multiplied by v. Now look at x, x is the adjacent side to the angle. x is the same as the horizontal initial velocity. Now, remember that the cosine of the angle equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Therefore, the horizontal initial velocity, or the x component equals to the cosine of the angle multiplied by v. Please remember these two equations when finding the x and y components. They are the horizontal and vertical components respectively. If this lesson was useful, please remember to support our growth by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. We really appreciate your support.